Hi everyone, this is the uh, fourth update of the houseboat build and things are starting to take uh, shape here and as you see now I have my uh, pontoons, uh, both pontoons are uh, complete all the way to the back so we've got 28 feet on this side here and we also have another 28 feet of pontoon on that side there as well now you might notice on this side here that there is also a V uh, that's been added and I'll show you what uh, how I've uh, constructed that and you can see here as well there's like a three inch uh, piece here that's about five and a half wide and as well another one here and then this other one here was uh, cut with my uh, table saw and then the re remaining piece that was cut off on this side here it flips over and did this peak now this one here has actually been all sanded now and uh, perfectly set plus there's in the center here uh, the support we've got a uh, piece of the same plywood that I have in between my uh, pontoons one there as well and then another piece right there as well so I'll show you on the other side there I've got nothing done yet and I'll show you how I'm doing that as well on the edges here like I had mentioned I would be putting a piece of uh, wood that's a cedar right there and uh, that's for uh, if there's any impacts on the side of the uh, uh, pontoons here uh, to protect the fiberglass from not breaking so uh, there's going to be another piece here that I have got still need to make and it's going to have a curve obviously because that's the front of the bow and here I've got on the front bow again my another piece of cedar that's uh, about an inch and a half thick and that again is for impact and if you look at the front here on the bow this is the floor section and you can see that there's an angle here that I've uh, made and instead of having that just flat with the six inch I made this angle here and this is obviously the nose of the boat as well so again I've got an inch and a half uh, thick there of uh, cedar uh, all along the whole way there and that's again for pe protecting for uh, an impact if that hits the dock again the fiberglass will last much longer and that's the point where it goes from the floor height to the angle here and there's another piece of cedar that's merged into there as well to protect that area uh, those pieces here that I have down uh, that's just 58 melamine and uh, that's so that I can walk uh, all the way uh, to the back there and I've got the uh, pieces of foam that are cut over there as you see uh, by the vacuum and those are for this side here to create the uh, the V on the hull here and that V will come actually all the way to the to the uh, bow the tip of the bow here and but it will be on an angle coming up gradually to reach that peak there so that still needs to be made but I thought I would give you an update uh, to show you that uh, things are really taking shape. Here's a view here of underneath and there is my three inch space there that the pontoon is uh, coming over uh, and that's again for my wall that's going to be resting the wall of the uh, pontoon houseboat will be resting on the pontoons themselves to give uh, to use the wall as a beam uh, strength to give uh, beam strength to these pontoons so that's pretty simple so uh, let me pause this and uh, I'll give you a shot of how I put this uh, together here uh, for making the V so here we are on the uh, top of the pontoons with our wood support uh, on each side and I just put in this piece of foam here just as a position it's not glued and this next one and got the little piece of uh, plywood there in between and again uh, there's the center piece of plywood there and here's the other piece that's going to go there so basically I uh, put what I use to glue these in is a spray foam and uh, what this is is a spray foam 
uh, gun. You can get these at uh, Home Depot or uh, building centers. And uh, this one here is uh, it's a polyurethane foam adhesive. And it's to adhere, uh, I guess, wallboard or floors uh, to uh, different structures. And this is uh, good stuff to use uh, because, uh, it, like uh, regular spray foam, this one here won't expand. So if you would use like regular spray foam to, to glue this, the problem is, is it starts lifting away the material. With this stuff here, it doesn't expand all that much and uh, so it becomes uh, a good glue. So all I do is uh, put in a bead here. And then another bead here on the wall or on the piece of plywood. And then this other small piece of plywood here as well. And then, or a piece of foam just falls into place. And now we put our, our plywood piece there. And there you have it that piece within about uh, 10 minutes will start to be pretty uh, solid and tacky uh, into place and probably within a half an hour uh, would be uh, very strong uh, and to the point where you could uh, consider starting to sand that. So then the, this next piece here goes in and it's a tight fit, it's a pressure fit so I'm not going to do that now because I'm trying to, I'm filming, I'm doing the video camera in this at the same time and I only have one hand right now but as you see it overlaps there a little bit and then once I push it under compression it all fits in and it uh, keeps all the pieces snug and then we've got these pieces of uh, foam here that were from this section here the leftover like I said uh, and that just flips over and finishes uh, this side here and uh, basically that's how the uh, V's are done on the uh, pontoons. So once I do the whole thing, uh, you clearly see all my supports here, three wood supports. And then obviously I've got some plywood here going across the other way. So these are now actual, actual beams uh, on the bottom of the uh, boat here. And I added that plywood to again give it uh, strength if ever it would have, uh, well, when it's resting on the trailer, on the bunks or whatever, uh, you need something uh, strong there as well, so that the foam uh, won't, uh, you know, start compressing. Uh, and then here on this side, uh, you've already had a shot of what this looks like, and that's once it's uh, all been uh, nicely fine sanded. And um, this is going to be covered with this same kind of uh, plywood, you know, this kind of thickness of, uh, of plywood, and uh, right over, right over the whole surface, and then these corners here will be slightly rounded uh, for when I do the fiberglass uh, around uh, covering all this. And uh, I've mentioned before my big sanding blocks, and I wasn't kidding, these are actual old trowels that I use to make handles. And this is, this is one of my sanding block, and it's two 5-8 pieces of uh, melamine that are together. And what it is, is commercial sander, uh, floor sander, uh, papers that are uh, adhesive, that is uh, the two of them that are stuck to that. And that uh, gives a very straight surface and a very long surface so that when you're sanding something like this, you're not digging or having you know, waves or slopes like that. And then I've got this other one that's a little smaller and uh, with a much uh, heavier grit. So this one's got like, I think, a 36 uh, grit 
and that's what I do to you know start uh, working the uh, sanding uh, the first uh, step and uh, getting most of it done and then the finer uh, work is done with this uh, big one here and uh, that's the uh, pro uh, the, the stuff that's uh, been done so far and uh, hope you are uh, enjoying uh, these videos and I'll now give you a uh, shot that was taken earlier uh, a friend came by and did a video shot of when I was uh, laying down the pontoons showing you uh, spreading the uh, polyester resin the fiberglass resin on the fiberglass cloth and positioning a pontoon on there and that's how uh, uh, that was done piece by piece like that so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and post this uh, update and uh, keep watching for uh, more updates I guess the next one will be uh, me uh, you know having all the fiberglass over these uh, pontoons here and uh, spreading out the uh, resin so that will be the uh, next step thanks for watching bye now there we go hi there I uh, just want to uh, show you the uh, polyester resin mix here I got 50 ounces and I've got that all figured out by the amount of square inches that I want to wet my cloth there and I now have a friend that's uh, uh, doing the video camera for me here so now I'm putting in about three quarters of an ounce of the uh, hardener here or the catalyst in the polyester resin and I'm going ahead there and mixing that now my polyester resin is sitting at a temperature of about uh, 65 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and uh, between 65 and 68 because our nights are cool here the, on the six inch so uh, sure to kick the uh, resin without uh, having an overheating situation so I think we'll stop the camera from there and then I'll give you a shot of what it looks like when I spread this resin Okay, so what I've done is I've measured this pontoon and actually I've marked out with a felt marker here a line of where the, the nose of the pontoon will be sitting. And I'm just going to be wetting exactly the area of the pontoon. There at the back I've got another line to stop as well where my resin. So now I'm just pouring that resin right there on the cloth. Okay, you can stop the camera now. All right, so what you do is you really quickly spread your resin as, as, as fast as you can on the surface of the cloth here. And basically the cloth will start sucking in the resin. And that's what I'm doing right now. And then we'll give you another shot of it once it's all spread before we lay the pontoon on. Okay. All right, so now it's all laid out really perfectly and it's still wet. And now I've got my pontoon already set here. And I just hold the pontoon and pull that out. bring it over and when it falls I know it's pretty close to being at the right spot and now with my measuring tape I measure three inches it's exactly pretty well no three inches there and then three inches at the other end and let that set and that's how it's done thanks for watching